I mean, now it's not gonna give me issues. Okay, I'll I'll give it a shot. Um, we'll see. All right, so for real now. Um, let's see if my PC can run this now. I'm pretty sure my my PC can run it. It's the streaming that's really being a dickhead. All right. I did full heal for this, if I'm not mistaken. So, what are we doing? We came from behind, and now we are going this way. Probably be careful about that one. Energy source. Seems like I should be attacking that, shouldn't it? It's been a while since I've played, so... Give me a break. So we got that one. That's good. They won't see me coming. Lathander's light may be infinite, but his mercy is not. Return now. Okay. Um I've got a long road ahead. These boots have seen everything. Breathe quiet. Move That's again. a weird thing to say to me. Wondering if I can get through. That doesn't do anything. Good to know. Doesn't seem to do anything either. Oh, that's the uh, <laughs> right. Oh, that's... Well, that seems like an energy source. Can I get to it? Moving ahead. Hmm. All right, that also doesn't do anything. actually doesn't do the lagging thing on my screen, I get the feeling. It just does it on my recording, which is slightly weird. Alright, let's see. Can I... 
Path is interrupted. Okay. has to be a way to get there, right? Does it have something to do with the braziers? Or do you need, like, light? Wait, what did the plaque say? Lavanda's light may be infinite, but his mercy is not. Return now. I actually don't know if I made this my packed weapon ever. Um, wait, what happens if I cast light on myself? Fiat Lux. That doesn't do anything. Lavanda's light may be infinite, but his mercy is not. Return. Now. This is returning. That's not gonna help us, though. Huh, I'll give it a shot. Huh. I don't actually know how to get through this. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Or wait, what did what was the didn't we have, like, what was it, the blood of Lathander? That we got a little bit before? Not this, not this. That's the short sword of first blood. Didn't... What is this called? Secret chamber. Take the path behind the Dawnbreaker. Should mind my step. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? There's a path here. I thought that was a wall. Oh, God. Okay, fine. Shush. I legitimately thought that was a wall. What the fuck?
Okay. Got it. <laughs> okay. So I'm just I'm just dumb. That's that's really what this comes down to is I'm just extremely dumb. I should be paying attention. That is honestly the lesson that needs to be learned from this. Thunder. All right. I want to see because I don't remember what I needed to do before this. Found an oddly shaped crest that belonged to a high priest. So perhaps you can. Find yeah. Okay. So we need to see. I'm assuming where we put that crest. Then I would assume. I still have it, right? Yeah, Dawn Master's Crest, that's it. This one. I'm going to assume that I'm gonna need that. Ha. Nice! We did it! I am very curious what the fuck just happened. Okay, so I just I just got this then. No, I'm curious. Latest Blood of Lathander, legendary, seven to twelve damage. Once for long rest, when your hit points are reduced to zero, you regain two to twelve hit points. Allies within nine also regain one to six. Lathander's light. Sheds holy light in a 6 meter radius. In combat, fiends and undead standing in the light are blinded unless they succeed a constitution saving throw. Weapon enchantment plus 3, sunbeam. Level 6 evocation? <laughs> Wait! I'm sorry! What? <laughs> what? Wait, really? A level... Wait, this is a plus 3 mage that, mace that lets someone cast sunbeam. I'm sorry, what? That's broken! Holy shit! <laughs> oh, that's funny as shit. Oh, that's funny. Is that long rest? Yeah, long rest be chargeable, I would assume. Yeah. Okay! My faith protects me. I, I, I think we found Shadowheart's new weapon. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> I don't know. Does this count as adventuring? I think I'm giving that to Shadowheart. Secrecy above all. Shadow, want a new weapon? Holy damn. Wow. Really though? That's insane. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Let's not get caught off guard. That's funny. Oh, I love it. 
I'm gonna drop my mic a little bit. What path lies before me? Oh wait, really? That's it? That's Oh fuck, really? It doesn't let you walk away? Ah oh, crap, I was actually kind of hoping there'd be like an escape path or something here, but then I guess I'm gonna have to blow up the entire crash then. Lathander's solar machine. I don't know what the energy sources are for, but I guess I'll just leave those alone at the moment. Or I get myself killed. Okay! Quite a heavily guarded treasure. Good job we got past those protections. The tighter the security, the juicier the prize. That's a really random question. What is the price of this? 640! I'm sorry. Are you telling me that I can sell the legendary Mace of Lathander for 640 gold pieces? That seems pretty low for some weird reason. But okay. Well, guess we're murdering the entire crash now. Um, I think that's really the only play that we still have, right? Because we can't escape through here. I mean, the good news, though, is, like, regardless of that, at least we can use this as a safe long... Like, a uh, safe long rest. Like, a long resting spot, so it's fine. I would, I would, I would think. So, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. So, like, once we get back into the Inquisitor's Chambers... We don't get to long rest, but we can kind of... If we have to, we can move back here and long rest anyway. So that's fine. Alright. I do need to remind myself, like, what I, where I'm at. Like, I'm at... S I'm at seven levels. Can't afford to stay idle. So we have fourth level spells now. What did I pick up on Shadowheart? I don't remember what I picked up for spells on Shadowheart. And... Uh, Guardian of Faith, Death Ward, yeah, sure, I'm not gonna pre-cast those just yet. Greater Invisibility, right, 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 okay, perfect. So now, and then Asterion just is now 3-4. Better make my next move. So next level we're going into 5th level Ranger, and then I think the rest is gonna be Rogue, possibly. Not actually sure what I'm gonna do on Asterion post-level 8 yet. Um, I mean, I guess we're murdering the entire crash at this point. Technically, I guess we could have teleported out. Or you're just here. That, that's, that's, that works. Certainly. Am I the only one who has the funky feeling that I should just kill you at this point? Yeah, you're hostile. How many? One, two, three, four, and you're the biggest threat, I guess. Fairy, war magic. Alright. What I'd like to do, however, because we know that Asterion's gonna be able to go first regardless of what happens. Guess we'll get Asterion to launch a shot to start with, and then we'll go from there. Do I want to take out one of the... I'm assuming these are wolves, right? Yeah. Because these are pack tactics. I think the biggest question is, like, what do we think the biggest threat is? The big annoying part here has more to do with the positioning of these two, because I'd like to get to the Ardent. I don't think there's a clean way to do that, though. But I should probably go after the wolves first, right? 
I'm pretty sure if I if I take out the wolves and then I just deal with Thezarin with uh, Gareth. Might even just fireball this entire... Actually, if we're gonna fireball... Because I'm pretty sure you're the one with the crazy magic-y shit. Right? So then, in theory, shouldn't I actually go for this one? Because then I can fireball over here. And make sure that I hit the Ardent with these two. Unless, no, wait, fireball's gonna be- no, because I'd like to kill the wolf with it, so I'd want- I'd like to guarantee enough damage. So yeah, no, this is gonna be better then. Okay. Alright, let's go. Alright. Dread Ambusher. Ah, that's slightly annoying. I will be honest, I was hoping... Then again, I can move Asterion closer and just take all my shots at, Ar at the Ardent right now. What's your AC? 12. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm killing you off. So maybe pump all of my damage into you and then I can still fireball these four. Because you're the only one who's possibly out of fireball range. Yeah. That's actually pretty, that's actually pretty good. Alright, so let's do this. I don't need to hide because, you know, funnily enough. Uh, 99 advantage, assassinate, alright. And we're gonna also use Dread Ambusher. 21. Uh, probably not gonna get a kill off of this, am I? And again, I do still have other plays to make. Okay. That's fine. I think Gale's gonna be next because of the fireball. Both ways. How does this go positioning wise? I am probably gonna have to move Asterion in a second. That's fine. Asterion moving a little bit is fine. Alright. How do we. Yeah, I do need to be careful that I don't move you too much. Right? Yeah. Getting the funky feeling. Can't get you much better in terms of positioning. Yeah, this is gonna, like, be... For the switch, hits three of them, possibly kills the dog in an ideal world. I also still have Asterion's bonus action. I also still have finishing off capabilities with Eldritch Blast and stuff. Pretty sure I'm not getting a fireball off there. Unless... I can teleport somewhere? Prettier? I don't think so, right? Yeah, no. I'm gonna be stuck. I'm gonna be stuck no matter where I go, I think. So, yep. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is gonna be the best play to just fireball the three of you, hope that the dog dies. Otherwise, finish it off. Yeah, let's go. Nice. That's actually pretty good. And 34 on Therizin. So that's really good for me. Okay. Gareth and Shadowheart. Gareth is still naked. I, I kind of want to mention that. Gareth still does not have any clothes on in his portrait. So what's Gareth's play here? Does Gareth have a play here? Like, he has an Eldritch Blast play, but... At best, that would be to finish off Jock, right? I guess. Like, I think that's really the best I can expect here. 
Um, because I'm pretty sure I'm not getting to the Ardent, which is annoying if I'm being perfectly honest. What Shadow Hearts play? Dagger, my favorite. What is Shadow Hearts play? Is it just Firebolt? I don't really like any of the other plays she has. I don't like Polymorph as much. I mean, Polymorph could be good on. You, I guess? What's your wisdom save? Plus two. With 20 to her. Wait, she, she's not a 20 yet. So that's four plus three. So 15 save DC, I guess. What's next, I wonder? What save DC? Wait, what save DC am I at right now? Uh, Initiative plus two. Where's my... Should I be able to see this somewhere? God, I don't remember anything. Oh, there you go. Yeah, 15. 15, so... 13 or higher, which means I have a 60% chance of Polymorph just taking her out of the combat. Um... Time to kill. Asterion doesn't really have a play left, does he? At best, Asterion has a bonus action attack on Doc, and that's not worth it, right? Well, Vampire Bite is, I guess, worth it. Um, but it's gonna get him hit by, like, everything in their mother. So I'm afraid the Ardent's gonna get one turn off. I should have bonus- I should have bonus action Hunter's marked. I was hoping I was going to be able to hide, I guess. Yeah, I should have. That's my mistake. Um, Just dashing isn't going to do anything anymore. Uh, like, the option here, I guess, would be bonus action and then... Like, get... Would be like bonus action, bite, dock. Or Kithrak uh, Therizin to drop the attack bonus. But that's not going to finish anything. So I think the optimal play here is going to be... Probably... Actually, wait. Shadowheart... Does Shadowheart have anything in terms of... Offensive AoE spells? No, right? I don't think so, at least. Which weapon... I don't really have, like... Some sort of AoE spell that I can... Set up, right? No. But Gareth technically does, but it's not gonna help in this case. So I think, yeah, smartest play is just going to be Eldritch Blasts and move in on his turn. And I think it's going to be on Doc, because I'd like to take the chance of killing him. Although then I should probably have Shadowheart attack first, because then I have two attacks on the wolf, and I can possibly kill it, leaving like three enemies, which should be fine. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, and I'm definitely moving Asterion back, because I don't think the bonus action bite is worth it here. Not in this case. Not yet, anyway. Alright. 18 points of damage. That's pretty good. I might actually be able to just go one shot, one shot then. Um, and if I miss the shot on the wolf, then I guess I do send Asterion in. He's gonna take some damage, but... Yeah, no, he's gonna take some damage, end of discussion. Although he does have higher AC due to his, um... Can you feel death's cold grip? Due to his special armor, right? Because he's wearing the scale mail. Yeah. So what is a is a he's at 19 AC. To be fair, he's fine. Like Gareth has more, but like, what are the odds? All right, let's one to this. All right. Uh, nope. Nice two hits. 
Alright, so that finishes off both wolves, leaving you at very low HP and leaving me with trying to take out the Ardent. Alright, and then that leaves Asterion. Aw, oh, crap, I don't want to be in... Well, that's actually fine. You know what? I'll, I'll bonus action dash here, I think. To piss off as far as possible. Yeah, let's do that. Because I don't want to be in a, in a position where he is in, like, AoE range of the rest. Alright, here we go. Blur is fine. That's an action. Verdage. Rallies. You're Misty Stepping Mystic Rend. Yeah, that's what I was kind of afraid of. Okay. So, now we have everybody's turns and then we go back to the start. Wait, what does Psychic Rend mean? Has disadvantage on intelligence and wisdom checks and saving throws. That's fine. For now. But you're a threat. But you're concentrating on Blur. Who am I using to deal with that, though? I need you to make saves, right? Because Asterion's not going to get big advantages from this. Big question is, can I move... Yeah, that's the furthest I'm gonna get, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I was hoping I'd be able to push this one off. It's fine. Um... I think we're gonna need to try to get... Okay, I don't want to waste my bonus action, so I'm not gonna do that yet. Um... However, I do think I'll get into melee with at least one of these. I actually think Gareth is going to come into melee over here to deal with these two. Gale is going to stay where he is, and then I think I move Shadowheart into melee with Kithrak, because then I can get into a position where I can, um, I can have Asterion hide as a bonus action. I actually even... Let's finish this. If I push you, what are my odds? 50%. I could try to shove you away from Asterion. Yeah, let's do that. So, shove you back. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Okay. That's fine. Um, Asterion's gonna take a hit in a second. I'm afraid I don't have much choice in that matter. Because I need him to run away in bonus action hide so he can have sneak attack. That's fine. Uh, Gareth is gonna move... Don't waste a step. Here? Ooh, hold on. I have a bonus action. Bye. <laughs> nice. And then I'm gonna move Gale kind of like into the middle here, but away from everything. Alright, here we go. Yeah, you're taking an attack here. No matter what happens. I think, like, no matter what, I'm moving you out of the way. Because I don't have an option to sneak attack otherwise. I can, like, move over here, hide, sneak attack. Because, you know, Shadowheart's in melee. So I am going to take the one hit, which is annoying. Nice! Nice, 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 nice. Perfect. Alright, let's move over here. Uh, cunning action hides, and that should allow me to sneak attack you if I hit. Alright. Nice. Do not react. It does make the concentration check, which is annoying, but it's fine. Alright, you're down to 36. This should be okay at this point. 
Wait, what? Burning hands? First level. Oh, wait, no. She's casting it at third level. Pummel strike. Ow. Uh, rallying again. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Well, I'm not extremely happy about the fact that you just apparently got a pommel strike on me. What the hell? What? Fucking pommel strike. God damn it. What is pommel strike? It's just a bonus. Oh, I get dazed. Oh no, Lathander's light. Oh no, I'm not dazed. Oh, okay, fine. Um, very low chance that I'm actually hitting you, so I think that's pretty pointless to do at this point. Uh, I haven't used a single spell slot yet. I actually think I'm just going to... Spirit Guardians here, try to deal damage. Uh, you know what? Let's go with Radiant, because why the hell not? Succeeds or save, because you're annoying! Very, very annoying. Another fight. Okay, Let's go. Gareth. Let's get Gareth into... Very well. Melee with you. Out of sheer curiosity, what happens if I push you from here? It was worth a shot. Alright. I get two attacks with this weapon, so let's go. Am I smiting on this? I think I can... Wait, do I not get to use my third level smite? Hold up. Why am I not allowed to use my third level? Wait a second. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> That's not okay. Reactions. Third level. It turned them off because... Okay. Well, that's fun. And of course you missed the second attack. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Fuck you, game. Okay, um... I kinda wanna just... I kinda wanna magic missile. Force three con saves? What is your constitution saving throw bonus? Plus six, I assume? Yeah. So that's... One, two, three, so that's 15% chance every single time. That's... Ah. I don't- that, I think that's barely gonna get me to 50% chance to knock out your- your blur. So that's slightly annoying. What's my other option? I don't really have any other options, do I? Yeah. I think that's gonna be the play, to be honest. Just to hope for a blur, for a blur drop. Yeah, I figured. Oh, she even gets advantage on them. Okay, never mind. Okay, well, at least at that point it's still damaged, so that's still good. Um... Okay, Asterion. You're still looking that way. Pretty sure... I'm just bonus action hiding. Let's find some prey. And... 
taking a shot at you, hoping for a kill? 80% chance the hit should be fine, right? Nice. Kill? Ah, parries the attack, god damn it. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay. Lost my concentration. Yay. Yeah, you make your disadvantage attacks, but... How did you hit me?! Really? I lost it. It was... It was a disadvantage. Ow! Wait, it wasn't a disadvantage? You're in melee with me. How are you not attacking me at disadvantage? You piece of shit. Oh, you have crossbow expert. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh, fine. God damn it. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I got stuns? A oh, fudge. I mean, I guess my magic missile is Sometimes probably no done, but still. Uh, I think I'm just gonna make two attacks at this point and try to kill you normally, but... <laughs> You're not gonna let me this happen, are you? Yes, I just threw a third level smite at this because I'm annoyed. God damn it. What are you at? Five. I mean, what are the odds of you not dying? I mean, at this point, fucking hell, just throw a first level missile at it and finish this off. There you go. If not over, then through. That'll do it. You're in shadow. Soulbreaker Greatsword. What the hell? Okay, plus one. Seldom caught on a word. You get a plus two bonus to initiative rolls. Nice. When wielded by a Gith Yankee, this weapon. Oh, only one wielded by a Gith. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna send a lot of this to camp, honestly. Oops. Or what? Oh, oops. Huh. Apparently there's a hotkey to it. Whoa, what the f- Oh, crap, no. <sighs> Can I turn this off? For the love of God. I don't want this. Crap. Can I turn... Hold on a second. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna turn this off for a minute because this is gonna be extremely annoying otherwise. Ah, <sighs> crap. So, for those of you who don't know what's going on, I it, it if I push a specific combination of buttons, it opens GeForce Experience, and I don't want that. <sighs> God damn it. It's annoying because the combination that I use for this is one, or the combination that it automatically activates is like one that I use a lot. Uh, boiled Beholder Ice Talks. Why is that slightly creepy to me? Ooh, studded leather. Nice. Githyanki crossbow. I should probably be throwing a lot of this stuff away, to be perfectly honest. Uh, set to camp. Set to camp. Well, we'll send a lot of this stuff to uh, camp at some point. Alright. I think I looted most of this already. Um, is this a moment where you short rest? Possibly, right? Might as well. Uh, which means I'm actually going to... Oh, uh, where is... where is it?
God damn it, where's my armor of Agathus? Spell. There you go. Cast to the third level. There you go. And then we. Sure. Because now I have 15 temporary hit points. Everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Life on my feet. Alright. So now we start taking out the rest of the. Uh... Get the Yankees. Is there anyone in there? Doesn't look like it, right? I never looted the 52 gold pieces. Well, how fun. Inquisitor's prerogative, a reminder. Because the only earnings below them is a train. Uh, Terizin, it would behoove you to remember that should you or any members of Crash Illic flout the new rules, this will be considered an act of treason. Do not think that I am blind to your disdain. I am our Queen's eyes and I see it all. The Inquisition will proceed as planned until it is complete and the weapon is found, as decreed by the Queen to me. That seems like fun. Right. Be fair, technically, I can kill everything. Map of the Shadow Cursed Lands. A map of the Sword Coast. What are the Gith planning? No idea, but I am curious. I mean, at this point, let's be honest, we're not. <sighs> this is going to keep opening, isn't it? God damn it. did this at some point, but... The app, how to turn off. Yada yada yada. Really? God damn it. This is annoying, it really is. Experience. Gear. Oh, right, I remember. I know why, why this is. General. In game. Turn off. There you go. I don't need this anyway. All right. Oh, thank God. Okay. Whew. I was worried. Be aware, cultists must be captured on site. Interrogations with effective search for the artifact thorough priority one. Okay. That seems like fun. You people seem like a very fun bunch. You know that? Oh, now we're able to rest again, apparently. Wait, why is it so... quiet in here? Ah. I'm starting to wonder. Warrior, warrior, just two. We should be fine. 
stepping softly. Mostly need to be careful that no other others show up, I guess. Just two, three of you. Oh wait, no, never mind. Five of you. Do I have a clean way of getting there? Not really, right? Alright, unless- well, that's actually not entirely true, I just remember. I do have the invisibility for ten rounds. Which I could use to get over here and start attacking. Quarter mistress, okay. Let's hold off on those guys for a second. Let's try to map out the location a little bit. You never know, maybe I can find some other another another way to get there. There's a couple of people over there. There's definitely people over here. All of these are like Holy damn. Why are there so many of these encounters? Jesus. This is this is pretty big encounters. <laughs> To be perfectly honest. Holy fuck, how many of you are there? I guess I'm... I mean, to be fair, I guess I'm murdering an entire crash, but still. Youth, I'm assuming I'm not gonna kill the kid. Oh no, you're treated as a youth. Wait, isn't there a kid? I thought there was a kid. Eh. Let's assume that we don't have to kill the kid. There is the Ardent over there. Which we can probably deal with. So how many? One, two, three, one, two, one, two, and then the Ardent. So... Ah, oh, crap. And you're also a big guy. Of course you are. Um... Try to get rid of this little group here first, I guess? Probably? Yeah, probably, right? Alright. Deal with these guys first. The others have, like, a height advantage, and I don't like it. All right, let's go. Oh, nice. Oh, surprised. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I enjoy that thoroughly. I don't need luck of the four realm. Critting either way. 31, 28, 28, 28, okay. Before I do my last shot, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna move Gale in here. Step by step. I don't wanna waste too many third levels yet. But I do wanna waste another third level on you guys. Uh, this should be fine, right? Oh, no, wait. I'd like to do it without moving. Uh, yeah, that's actually perfect. So, one of you saved. You have a hit point. <sighs> that's annoying. Okay. Regardless, this attack is going this way. Nice. Can I get to you? I was hoping I'd be able to like get to you and then bonus action hit you, but I guess that's not happening. All right. I can be subtle sometimes. <laughs> I can be subtle sometimes. Can you? Are you sure? I do get a surprise round. Actually, speaking of which, if I get a surprise round anyway, there's not really a reason for me to make my attacks like this, right? I should probably just be moving in. Because these guys aren't going to get a turn anyway, and I might as well move myself into a better position. It's going to be better. Yep, yeah, okay. Let's do that. Alright, 
cool. So, let's move back to Asterion. Uh, I'd actually like to move him out of the way and cutting action hide because next round I'm also going to get hit. he's also going to go first all of these guys are going to lose their surprise but I'm going to be able to hit people so that's fine you're surprised you're surprised that's completely fine uh now with shadow hearts really looking to free up as much space as we can right Although I do, actually I do realize I did just, I do lose my advantage, but that's fine. It's fine. Uh, Have to keep going. Just move in. Do I want to waste something in terms of spells? Nah. Uh, my aunt's on Sacred Flame. 65, 60. I don't think you guys are extremely potent, so I don't think I'm worried about you guys. So let's just try to Sacred Flame you. Are my odds better if I Firebolt? Yeah, they are. Okay, let's go. 11. Nice. That's not bad. It's not a bad shot. Alright. Gareth. Let's move Gareth Let's as down as much as possible. Uh, I would like to hit you. Nice. I needed to guarantee the kill there, so. So that kills you, lets me deal with you two. Alright. And then I'm pretty sure Gale's just sticking around for now. Alright. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a shot that I can take at something. Oh, Shadowheart also gets a turn. Not now. Let's have some carnage. But I'm mostly use a shot at you, but I'm not gonna get that, am I? Unless I move Shadowheart using a bonus action to like here, at which point I can bonus action hide. I don't even have to bonus action hide at that point, I can just shoot him. He's like 12 AC. I might be able to deal some damage and I still have my action at that point. And as I said, I kind of want to deal with the Arden first because that's the biggest threat right now. So yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, so bonus action jump. When I go then. All right, so we're in melee, which is perfect. Time for a cut. And then, in an ideal world, we move. move Asterion into a position where he sneak attacks. Excellent. Putting you at seven. That's okay. Ready. What are my odds of hitting you? 80% chance to hit. My minimum damage is five. <laughs> uh, that's not great. It's not good. But anyway, let's go for it anyway. Or you just missed entirely. That that works too. The dance macabre. Well, that's that plan gone to shit. <laughs> Alright, let's move Asterion back out. And... Let's have a little fun. Alright, here we go. What are you doing? Sure, Misty Step, why the hell not? Okay, here's the big question, right? What I could do is I could move in, hit you. Or I could move in, hit you. In the case that I do this, but then again, this one's not getting a turn anymore. These two are. So I might as well try to kill you. And then have Gale, like, 
firebolt you. Yeah, Another step forward. that's better. Let's go. Let's do this. This forces these two into melee. I'm gonna use my first level on that. And then I still have my second attack on you. Double kill. <laughs> nice. Gone with the nice. You didn't even get a turn. 85% chance to... Come on, let's go. Did I just roll the lowest damage possible? Oh, well, that's fun. Alright, let's move him back out. No choice but to keep going. Uh, this should be fine. Alright, you two are going after Shadowheart. What is your... Is it 1d8 damage? Really? Attack roll, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, so plus 6 to hit. 1d6 plus 2. Maybe the first one dealt 1. Oh, that was the bonus action, I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack, bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they're dual wielding. That's why. That makes sense. Um. Oh, that's annoying. I need to guarantee the kill on you right now. I really do. I do need to, I need to guarantee the kill on the Ardents, because that one's going to be the annoying one to deal with. So, yeah, we're going to guarantee this. 26, nice. At which point we get a full turn to try to hit these guys. Time to push my luck again. Perfect. Ah, that's annoying. Wait, do I have? If I bonus action jump, I can get to you, right? Yeah, nice. That should work. And then I can just do two attacks. Should be fine. Uh, do I smite on that? I think I'm gonna leave it at this. First level, first level. There you go. That's one more down. That leaves one more. One card all so now we just start picking away distance. at that one's hit points. Really? Not enough movement? Are you fucking kidding me? Well, that's fun. Oh. Well. Can't give up. This feels good. Unleash me. Did you just crit? What? You cheeky bugger. God damn it. I have a shot here. I'll just bonus action height then. Ready or no. This will probably end it. Really? Well, so much for peace. <sighs> Fine. Alright. I need to sell so much stuff. You, you, you don't understand. Ooh, healing potion. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Shut up, up, shut up, up, shut up, up. All right. Breathe deep and move. So that gets rid of um, younger gifts. Which is really sad. Ooh, food. God damn it. <laughs> Fine. My faith will guide me. I'll have Shadowheart carry some stuff. God damn it. Ooh. Crown of Madness. There's a lot of stuff to sell, God. Keep going. I'm gonna need to go somewhere to sell some stuff soon. I really am gonna need to go somewhere to sell some stuff soon. All right, how are we doing? Decently, decently. And these things are. Still um, how does my paladin healing work these days? A healing. How many charges do I have? Three. So I have twelve heals. 
I don't really want to short rest immediately right now, if I'm being perfectly honest, so... What I'm gonna do... Is I'm gonna send some stuff to camp. Until I'm no longer encumbered. And once we're done here, I think I'll go and find myself a, a salesperson and we'll just start selling a bunch of this because I think I have a lot of stuff left in the camp that I can sell. Hold on. Can I? I can multi select, right? There you go. Alright. So we definitely still have the armory, we have the entrance. Uh, I also think we have like the dragon yada yada thingy. Whatever it's called, the dragon hatchery. Which we have to have a chat with, because we're also trying to get a... Um, we're trying to get a dragon's egg for uh, Madam Outside. One warrior and custodian of the hatchery and raider. Is it legitimately just that? I kind of want to see something. Quietly now. Sterian, hold on. Has. Ah, uh, the area must be lightly or heavily obscured. What to do? Out of sheer curiosity, if I move Gareth away, is it still lightly or heavily obscured? <laughs> yeah, lightly obscured. Let's have some fun. That works. Ooh, wait, but I can... Oh, it resets on a short rest. Mostly want to look at like positioning here. So we have one over there. This is acid, right? Yeah. So I kind of, just for funsies, want to have. Um. You guys aren't immune to acid, right? Yeah, you don't have resistance to that. Big thing that I kind of want to do. Is I kind of want to have Gareth push you off the issue positioning wise here is I don't really have a clean way to get to a position unless I actually use umbral shroud to move over here where you don't see me and then I like try to jump to get up here, at which point I'd have a shot at at least the raider, if not even Varsh. What is your AC? Mr. Custodian. I'm assuming, mister. Yeah, you have acid resistance. I figured that much. 16 AC. It's fine. Like, that would be an option, right? Just Umbral Shroud, move through, jump. Like, what is my jump distance here? Not enough, right? Yeah, that's not gonna get me over there. At best, I'd be able to get up. Yeah, I'm not even able to get up there. And this is light, which means I'd lose my Umbral Shroud, sadly enough. So I don't actually think I have that good of a shot except by having Gareth like bonus action Misty Step up here at some point and then throwing him off the map and even then because he's not gonna yeah that's not gonna help out much so can I get sneak attack on you not from there yeah, you're just out of range. Uh, 
Um... This is very annoying positioning wise. A very, a very annoying indeed. Um, I think my plan is at least to have Gareth hit here. I think the big question is what am I doing with you? To be fair. I could take a shot here, right? Then move closer with Asterion. And then technically his next couple of shots are at advantage. Because, you know, I have, will I will very likely have higher initiative than the Custodian. The problem is no one else is going to be able to hit. But the thing is, what if I move Gareth up first? Have him push Warrior Voon back into the acid. Probably dealing a decent chunk of damage. And then, technically, that's going to open up the path a little bit, at least, for um, Gale and Shadowheart. I think that's going to be the idea here, is just to do this. This is also partially out of me. fuck just happened? <laughs> I don't get how hiding works in this game. I am very happy that you decided to show up here, though. Going to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I'm just gonna start shooting you, aren't I? Uh, bonus action Hunter's Mark for additional damage. Turn it into a crit. That could work. You did what now? Oh, you have counterspell. Well, shit. That's annoying. There you go. God damn it. Motherfucker. <laughs> fucking. Ugh. Uh, anyway. Um. Quiet now. Annoying part, though. I'm not gonna be able to shove you off the map, am I? That's eh, fine. Assuming you're out of range, yeah. So let's just. Move you off the map. I think at this point we're just trying to deal as much damage to Mr. Warrior over there as possible. Because I'm pretty sure Asterion's about to be in the heat of the battle. Come on, get damage. Nice. Oh, that's pretty good. Actually move Shadowheart in if I want. And then do the same thing with Gale, because I kind of want to keep his fourth level slot for uh, one more fight. Oh, there's a small chance that you're dead. Did you legitimately just live with one hit point? God damn it. That's just, you know, that's just, that's just annoying. <laughs> that's just annoying. God damn it. Anyway, okay. Uh, time to move Syrian back. Alright, that ought to do. Acid resistance. I'm very happy that you are now acid resistant. 
Should I care? Oh, that's not good. Ooh. That's a nice little shot. That's pretty good. Going, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you that one. That was a nice little shatter. How many people? Wait, what did you hit me with? Eleven for Asterion. Kill nothing. <laughs> nice. And Shadow Eight. All right. It's fine. You have eight. Uh, which I'm gonna be perfectly honest annoys me. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be perfectly honest. That annoys me. Um, but I can't really do anything about it right now. So yeah. He's gonna move. Gareth into melee. Destroyer. Uh, I'm going to move Gale out of the way, if I'm being perfectly honest, so I don't get shattered again. How about that? Alright. Um, I don't have a clean way to do this, do I? So, here's, here's what I'm thinking. What I can do... Is I can bonus action vampire bite, but that's going to entirely stop me from dealing a decent chunk of damage to Varsh, right? Because I'm not going to be able to get sneak attack off. Then again, I think the only target that I can get sneak attack off on right now is Voon, and that one only has a single hit point. So honestly, at that point, I'd rather just get the plus one and the guaranteed kill. And the five healing, which, I mean, let's not complain about the five healing either. Because uh, I can't really get a decent shot off right now. I'm just going to make one ranged attack, get some damage off, which, eh, 13 not bad. Uh, you're gonna get another turn, and I'd like to not move Shadowheart into melee, because if this guy shatters again, I'm fucked. So I think we're leading this with... One of her two cantrips. Uh, Firebolt is better, because... More damage. Hey, counter spilled my cantrip. Is that an infinite ability that you have? Actually, can't just, they can make a weapon attack using a bonus action. It's just they just they just have more magic. Okay, so now they can make a bonus action weapon attack. That's annoying. Actually, um, it's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. Okay. Thunderbolt's fine here. I'm actually fine with that. Okay, you're misty stepping, so you're a part of the fight now. Wow, you suck at this. <laughs> you really suck at this. Alright, um, I have two attacks, and I think I'm throwing my third level smite into this, seeing as I'm going to short rest after this, almost guaranteed. So... Yeah, really nothing else to do, right? Please, for the love of God, do not do this to me. Okay, thank God. Alright, let's... Uh, let's get into melee with you. We'll talk about that. Um, <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Swiftly now. I should have done that differently. I shouldn't have. Yeah. Because I'm guessing there's something in between, right? Yeah. Okay. I wonder if this is worth the cost. How does this look positioning wise? Uh, oh, that's actually perfect. We can just move a Sterian over here. Uh, cutting action hides, and then we can sneak attack. Nice. 
That's good. Got to focus. And then... The I think the AoE should be out of the way right now. So just try to deal as much damage as possible. Wait, what did you get... What are you getting shield from? Wait, I don't remember what you get shield from. <laughs> Hold up. What do you get shield from? I legit, I legitimately don't remember. Oh, Amulet of the Harpers. Right, 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 right. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. But then the second one does it? Are you fucking kidding? What did you roll for your second attack? Eight. Plus one is nine. Plus... With disadvantage, wow. With disadvantage rolls of freaking 19 to hit. Wait. Huh? Wait, does shield only work on one attack in this game? Huh. Well, that's good to know. Uh, I was hoping for some better damage. Oh, God. I was hoping for that to hit. <laughs> Come on. Why? What? Please, please let me... Yeah, thank you. For some weird reason, it didn't let me do anything. Okay, cool. Um, I legitimately hate this game. Like, I am not even kidding at this point. On my way. Uh, all right, bonus action hides. I'm gonna move a little further. Just like action time. hides, and then just die. <laughs> Out of sheer curiosity, what the hell is that? <laughs> 